rave about uh, what's coming up weather-wise, but I uh, wanted to show you a line of cars right now coming down the uh, 101. This is the southbound uh, as it crosses underneath the uh, Los Osos Valley Road interchange, and you can see it's beginning to pick up there, so we'll keep an eye on that. Dave, um, what are you thinking here uh, in the immediate uh, next, well, I guess, six hours or so. I'm not worried about six hours. Okay. I'm really more so worried about 12 hours from now in terms of the winds developing across Santa Barbara County. So the front isn't even here yet. We'll show you more on that in a minute. Santa Maria 59, 70 in San Luis, 65 Paso, 62 Lompoc and 60 in Santa Barbara right now. And the winds across the area, you can see they have not picked up, not yet. And what happens behind a cold front, we get that cold air coming in the density changes, the pressure changes, and that's when we're going to see the winds really cranking up. That's out C Street, Ventura a little bit earlier today, and you can see all of that smoke still lingering from the Thomas fire. Okay, that's the front. There you see it north of the Bay Area, high pressure behind the front. Winds are created as high pressure moves into low pressure. So as the front marches southward, we're seeing a little bit of southwesterly flow develop. It hasn't really quite pushed in quite yet, but again, we still have hours to go until the front gets here. We backed up the timing of the wind a little. Look at the advisory. The red flag warning goes from 2 a.m till 10 p.m., meaning the window opens up for those 15 to 30 mile per hour winds as early as 2 a.m., but I think it's more like 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. So that's good news because for firefighters out there, when it gets dark, that's a tough time to fight fire. If we can hold those winds off until morning, that would be at least advantageous to be able to see what you're facing. Across Ventura County, there's a different advisory. That goes into place at 1 a.m. on Sunday morning through 8 p.m. on Sunday for winds 20 to 35 gusting 45 to 65. You talked about that Fillmore area and what they fought out there. So really the front and in terms of the fire, a couple of different weather regimes. OK, that's Saturday 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The front is past us and that's when the winds start cranking up. Look how they just roar down and around the Santa Inez range around Santa Barbara and out into parts of Ventura County. Let's take a look at the hours here. So into the evening, yeah, some breeziness developing on the south coast, but really on the western flank where there is no fire yet. All right, that's two o'clock in the morning. Now we're getting to five o'clock in the morning. Solvang area, Lompoc seeing some winds. Watch what happens here, though, in the hours after that. That's nine o'clock. Now you see all that orange and blue shading up in the hills. That's the wind gust of 20, 30 miles per hour. That continues through the afternoon. In fact, strengthening in the afternoon into the early evening. Now a lot of that wind is around that Thomas fire, all fronts of it, really. As we get into late Saturday into early Sunday, watch that transition to all that pressure pushing off into Ventura County. Temperatures coming down across the fire. Again, we're going to see more winds as we get into Thursday and Friday of next week. I will put this online. That's just a look at the latest IR map, which shows the warmest areas of the fire. There are a few hot spots still, but a lot of just scattered heat with those little dots and the areas in yellow. And that's just showing you what all the various crews are doing there. Of course, they're just trying to construct lines and improve lines on the western flank. That's a look at the big trough of pressure. This is why we're going through such an extreme change over the weekend. Then we get a little ridging building up next week for a quiet period, but late next week, another trough swings in and another breezy period Thursday into Friday. And breezy is an understatement. It could be downright windy again with 40 and 50 mile per hour winds. Every estimate in terms of when all those hot spots will be out really pushes the fire back into January. So any wind event needs to be taken seriously. Upper 60s and low 70s for much of the area. You'll note that is much cooler than we ha where we have been. We've seen temperatures in the 80s in this forecast. Going to be a fairly nice day for most folks. Again, breezy to downright windy on the south coast. But for the rest of the area, after a chilly overnight, it's going to be a fairly nice day tomorrow. Extended forecast shows mostly sunny skies as we go into the Christmas week. Stay there. We're back after this. Next, Ellen from Star 